everyone, today I thought we could make a book witch. So here she is. Um, and for today's craft, we're going to need obviously a book, maybe some pipe cleaners, definitely a, goose, a glue stick. And I've got a hot glue gun as well. Um, something round for the head. Uh, this is a ping pong ball, but you could use anything. Um, some string, maybe something to decorate with, a pair of scissors, and of course, a book. Now, if you're going to make a book which you need roughly about 200 pages. Um, so we don't, we need to discard the rest. This is appropriately called separation. I've already taken the cover off, so I'm just going to pull the pages off. Be brutal and then tidy it down away from there. Uh, I think over lockdown many of us bought books that we wouldn't normally read, so maybe they're lying around and you don't need them or go down to the charity shops. There are many, many books there that um, you could use to do this craft. So we need to start folding the pages. First fold, we take the outside corner and fold it in to the spine of the book. I'm just gonna uh, neaten this as well. Make sure it's well in and quite nicely down and give that a crisp fold there. Um, and that makes them, you want all your, your uh, skirt to be the same. So that's your first fold. Your second fold, so you fold the bottom corner up there and make it, and then you take this edge and again fold it in, right? So go right up to the point and then smooth it all the way down. And you do this with all of the pages. I'll show you again. You pull that one in, up to the spine, give it a firm fold, turn this one up, fold, and then bring this one all the way into the spine. You need to be a little bit gentle at the top corner there. That's it. Make sure it's well tucked in. And then push hard and fold again there. Now, this is going to take a good long time. So, I'm not going to do all 200 pages now. Um, I actually like to do all of this fold first and then come back, do the other fold, maybe doing 50 pages at once. Um, and, uh, and then that way I feel I've achieved something. So you put the kettle on, download a talking book onto your uh, mobile phones and it's quite a nice restful job folding away. And in true craft style, here's one I've done earlier. As you can see, it stands up by itself. It, um, it's a cone shape once you've finished. And that's the body of your witch. Um, and that's, that's really solid. It's very tactile, actually, really lovely. Um, I've painted this witch, so you could paint your witch. Um, what I did was I quite like um, just having the edge painted and not all the way through. Um, it would look really nice in purples or oranges. So I painted my witch and I squeezed the pages together like this. And I got, um, actually, I wanted a sponge. I didn't have a sponge. I just got some tissue and poly roll, dipped it in the paint, and then just painted the folds of each page. Um, you can, it will spring back, so you can be quite brutal. Um, easier to hold it down this end and paint like that. Um, as I say, it springs back and you just pop it round there. I'm not going to paint this one now because 
will end up covered in paint by the end of the craft. Um, but I will show you the rest. I actually quite like them. Uh, not naked, but uh, unpainted. I do like, I just like the bookness of it. So the next thing to do is to um, create the head. As I say, for this, I'm going to use a ping pong ball. Now you can leave it um, empty or you could use one of those polystyrene balls if you've got one. Um, or if you've got access to a craft shop, a lovely brown, big brown bead would look really good there. Um, and what I did with her was, just move you. I got a piece, this is just paper. Um, it's like a homemade wrapping paper. I caught the head all the way around inside here, squashed it down to make it sort of even all the way around. Uh, there we go. And it's worth taking a little bit of time and effort to make sure that she's not too lumpy bumpy because you don't really want her lumpy and bumpy. Um, a bit there. And then I fastened around the bottom there with a piece of string. Just tie it. This is really forgiving paper, actually. Um, it's almost like cloth. And again, you could use, if you had a piece of uh, like a muslin cloth or a thin material, you could use that as well. It feels a bit mean, doesn't it, wrapping it around and then knotting it. That looks quite spooky in itself. So we just trim that off. And I can trim this as well. So now you're left with her head. Um, it is actually going to go that way up, and that's worth remembering because I often glue them on upside down. I think if you make all the component pieces first um, and then glue them all together, it kind of works better. So let's go for her hat. I thought it was easier to measure everything in book pages. So for this one, if you take your page of your book, fold it in half, and then fold it down that way, and again, like this, and just make that little mark there. That will give you a template. Now, for the green witch, I have used felt, but I've also used, um, I painted this and used this as uh, the hat. Trim it round. And that is either your template for fabric, or we can paint this and make the hat out of that. Like this one here. So that's the pages inside. Painted it and just popped it round. Bit of glue. And that's the cone of the hat. For the brim of the hat, I drew round um, a coaster, um, but anything will do. Before I glued it, um, I folded it this way and snipped, and I folded it that way and snipped as well just so it sits on the head, sits on the little ball a little bit easier. Um, and this can be glued onto there. Best to use hot glue gun for this. Um, there you go. Let's pop that on there. However hard you try with a hot glue gun, I've always found that there is beading around the edge. And we can cover that with just a twist. This is a twist of um, tissue paper that was on a present. I like the color and I kept it. Um, and we can just twist that round and make it 
just like a ribbon there. I've used fabric on the other one, but just to give it a little bit um, of colour. I think that's quite nice. Okay, the next thing to make is uh, the witch's cloak here. Uh, again, this one I've made out of felt, but it doesn't have to be felt. Paper works just as well. I've got some paper here that is just a page of the book, one of those spare pages we ripped off at the beginning. Um, and I've made her the cloak. It's quite a simple shape. And this would be the template. So here's your page. You fold it in half and fold that in half again, just so it's symmetrical. And as you can see here, I've drawn a line as a guide. If I cut along there, it will give you the basic nice trumpet wing, trumpet sleeves there. Um, and as I folded it out, I just needed to make it a little bit shorter. So I just folded her cuffs back. There we go, like that. Um, and painted it and I've left it to dry. So let me go back to that black one again. This is gonna fit round her. There we go, roughly like that. But as you see, she needs some arms. All the arms are is, again, another folded up pieces of paper. I said we wouldn't need much, and we just needed the book for this. Um, I've glued this all together. If you, if you as a template, again, a book page, fold it in half diagonally. So this way, and then fold that. If you use some glue stick glue, it sticks very nicely. Fold it over again to give it a little bit of rigidity and then glue the side, glue it together and then just trim it off. Um, it gives you quite a nice arms. And that needs to be glued in here. So again, a little bit of glue stick. Place the arms in and fold it over. Okay. There we go. Just gonna glue those bits a little bit more. There she is. There's her arm. So we have a head and we have arms and we have a hat. For her hair, I've used some pipe cleaners. These ones are very sparkly and why shouldn't the witch have sparkly hair? I've just taken a pencil and wound it round and round and round. The great thing about pipe cleaners is they stay where they're put. And then you just tease it out and you get super sparkly curls. So I've got a number of these that I can glue on to make her hair. I think perhaps the trickiest thing is the um, collar that goes around the neck here. Uh, you just need something to cover up the meeting between the book cone and your head. Uh, so. Again, taking a page, just fold it over and over, glue it down, and um, I have actually decorated mine with a little bit of black ribbon that I've glued on there. And that can sit oopsie, quite nicely on the top 
of the body there. Okay, so let's start putting it all together. I'm just going to pop some paper down because I'm quite messy. If we start with the head, remember it goes the other way up, this way up. Let's start by gluing on her hair. And for this, you will need the hot glue gun. Careful how you stick them on, they are hot. It's a hot glue gun. Okay, and once they're on, you can rearrange them to give them a little bit more authenticity. And onto that, you need to glue your hat. We need to put the ring around the neck. It's easier to put the ring on and then pop the glue inside. And we need to add on the jacket. And so she looks now. Her hair is on, her hat is on, her arms are attached. So now what she needs is a broomstick. This is just a twig and I've got some string that I will just wrap around my fingers like this. All good witch needs to carry their broomsticks, so we need to just glue it into her little hands. And that is our book witch. 